G'day everyone, sorry for the interruption, we'll be back to the video in a second. Just wanted to say if you're watching this because you're working from home or perhaps you're on lockdown at home and stuck there and you're looking for tech content, hopefully you enjoy this and hopefully you use this time to improve upon your own tech skills. But most importantly, stay safe, stay healthy and be mindful and respectful of, of the needs of others in this time. Anyway, on to the video. Data patch. When I patch a database, I run opatch against the Oracle home. That's the thing that patches and updates all the Oracle binary, the Oracle software distribution. And then we have to run data patch against all the existing databases that are in or attached to that particular Oracle home. Most of us know that it's always in the upgrade guide. But what about when I create a database after I've done opatch? So I've, let's say I've got 11, 201, I've patched it to 11.204, I've data patched all my existing databases as well. What do I do if I now create a brand new one? Because it'll be using the 11.204 software. Do I have to run data patch afterwards? And here is the nice way of describing it, and I'll simply say, it depends. Now, I'm gonna set something running because it takes a little bit of a while to run. And we'll come back to it. So the answer is, it depends. I know that's a fairly vague answer and it'll probably cause some angst, but let's talk about why it depends. Don't get me wrong. Our intention was always that you would never ever have to run data patch except if you were patching an existing database. That should just be a one-off operation. Take my database from version X to version X.1, data patch run as part of opatch, that's it. That was our intent. But we didn't quite get there. Here's what you need to be aware of. If you're on 12.1, after you create a new database with freshly patched binaries, you need to go run data patch afterwards. For every new database, you need to run data patch. For 12.102, it's also manually needed after you create a new database. For 12.201, it was a maybe, depending a little bit on platform, and also there was a patch set update that came along for 12.201 to fix this, that is, Create a database after you patch the software and we're gonna sort out data patch for you. So as long as you're a regular applier of patches and you're on 12201 or above, this is now a non-issue. You never have to do this anymore. We will invisibly do data patch for you whenever you create a new database. I put data file copy down there because also around this time frame, you're probably familiar with when you use database configuration assistant, you can choose when you create a database whether to create it from scripts or create it from copying data files. The quicker way is copying an existing set of data files. Those data files obviously were never patched. So even on 12.201, if you were to create a database from those files, as opposed to from scripts from source, then afterwards you would need to run data patch. So there's a little bit of idiosyncrasies there around the 12.201 as we were getting this thing finally fixed. And finally, from that point onwards, we're all good. Data patch now has ceased to be something you need to run unless you are actually really running a patch. When in doubt, and that's why I set something running before, one of the cool things with data patch, here's data patch running on my 19.5 instance. Almost all of our scripts, and this is a compliment to the upgrade team inside Oracle, things like opatch, data patch, auto upgrade, another one, are always rerunnable. And if you had a failure, they'll normally pick up from where you failed. If they've run to completion, they are harmless to run again. So I've run data patch here on a system that I know is been happily data patched. And you can see it logs on. It ran at 9.36, it ran to 9.37. So it takes, this one took a minute and a half to run, which is why I started it early. And you can see, effectively, it looked, it went connected to the database, it went hunting, and it said, yep, you're on 19.5. I'm trying to data patch to 19.5 there is nothing that needs to be done. If you be fastidious and you say, I don't trust Oracle, I'm gonna make sure I always run it just in case, then you'll be fine. You can run data patch as often as you want and hopefully you'll gain our trust again in the sense that from 18 onwards, you never have to run data patch when creating new databases after you've patched your software distribution. So it's a nice thing we've cleaned up, it's pretty cool.